This thing off camera right here, Canada Dry Bold, has been sold out for like a month and a half everywhere I have checked. I finally ran into it in only the two liter version. No, I apologize. They actually had one 12 pack and I'm like, no, in case this is too bold for me, I'm going with the $1.89 two liter. We're gonna check it out, cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, Canada Dry Bold, getting right into it. See if this goes all over the place. I always wonder, I always am nervous if I shook this bad boy up. All right, so I'm not gonna hold this up and show you the pour. This is a two liter. We are not going to get uh, that brazen. It's a nice flow, good carbonation. It smells like ginger ale. But they are saying that this does come correct with a bold flavor of ginger. Check it out right there. Carbonated. Goodness. All right, wish me luck, Canada Dry Bold. Don't do many soda reviews, but this one, I enjoy Canada Dry from time to time. I believe I'm going to enjoy it later on in life. You know, that's the joke, that uh, you have to be over 70 to enjoy some Canada Dry. So here we go, Canada Dry Bold. Yeah, this isn't for me. Yeah, it's a deeper flavor of ginger, uh, almost like those Jamaican ginger beers, if you get me, and it kind of stings on the back end. A nice little sting on the back end. There is like a nice little spice there, um, but I'm not 100% on board with it, mainly because I am so used to the flavor of regular ginger ale, regular Canada Dry, which is my go-to when I'm sick, growing up. Your mom would always be like, here, have some ginger ale. It'll help your stomach. Okay, I did it. Uh, so you grow up with the flavor of Canada Dry. I mean, there's gotta be some people out there that enjoy more ginger. Um, I don't think I'm that guy. Yeah, it is just um, almost medicinal, almost medicinal. And again, after you drink it, it has like a, a burning sensation like, from like that uh, ginger spice. Yeah. All right, so it's okay. It's refreshing. I don't know if I'll finish the full two liter. I'm glad I didn't buy the 12 pack. It is bold. I'll give them that. They are delivering on what they are promoting, but I just don't think this beverage is for me. So let's give it a rating, shall we? On a scale of one to 100, with one meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of. I'm going to give the Canada Dry Bold a rating of. It's probably. I don't know. It's probably going to be good for some people. It just wasn't great for me. It's not bad. It's just, uh, again, not for me. So that is a um, 70. I'm gonna give that a 70. I don't know if I've ever given a straight up 70 ever in seven years on this channel. Felt weird to say. But anyway, that is a 70, but I'm sticking to it. That is a 70, and that's all I have to say about that. So uh, there you go, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, have you tried Canada Dry Bold? I am toasting all of you out there. Let me know in the comments below, and we will see you soon with some more reviews. Bye. All right, bonus footage. I was thinking uh, when I mentioned that Canada Dry is my go-to, what other brands out there, I was trying to think um, of uh, ginger ale other than like the specialty ginger ales, and what is it, Schweppes? Have you ever heard of Schweppes? In my head I was like, oh, Schweppes.